so good day everyone so for today's video i will discuss and share to you my notes in tl images out there so by the way i am janelle aldifolio i graduated my college in university of antique with a degree in entrepreneurship open learning and i am a unit earner in education in the same university and by God's grace, I have passed the let this October. I want to make videos about our majors TLE kasi nahirapan talaga ako on the actual board exam and I want you to ace the TLE exam. So our first topic for today is all about entrepreneurship. So what is entrepreneur? No? So an entrepreneur is an innovator who who organizes, operates, and assumes the risk for business venture. He or she looks for change, adapt to it, and uses it as an opportunity. So now let's talk about the development and growth theories. So we have seven theories, no? the laces fire theory, the Canadian theory, the Ricardian theory, the Caldor theory, the innovation theory, Harold Domas theory, and non-economic theory. So the first theory is the laissez-faire theory. So laissez-faire is French word means economic freedom. And the government should not interfere in economic activities. So this theory, no, the government daw hindi siya nag interfere sa economic activities. The second theory is the Keynesian theory. So it generates skill employment, nag-generate daw siya ng employment, more production, and thus it enhances economic development. So maganda yung Keynesian theory, no? So, kasi nag enhance siya ng economic development. So pag nag enhance ng economic development, Keynesian theory yan. Keynesian theory. The third theory is the Ricardian theory. No? So it is advocated by David Ricardo. He is an Engl English classical economist. Um, he, believe, he believes that key factor in economic growth is land. Pag sinabing key factor of the economic growth is land, yan ay ang Ricardian theory. The fourth theory is the Caldor theory. No? So it is avo advocated by Nicholas Caldor. So, technology is the key factor to development. So, pag technology kay Caldor. Pag, tandaan lang natin pag uh, technology, Caldor theory yan. So, the next theory is the innovation theory. No? So, it is uh, by Joseph Scumter. He is a well-known economist. So, for, for him, entrepreneurs are innovation innovators are the key factors for economic development because they transform theory into reality no so pag innovation theory entrepreneurs or innovators are the key factors the sixth theory is the harold damas theory no by sir harold from england and professor professor damas from the u.s so for them, the key factor in economic growth is physical capital like machines. So, pag, uh, pag physical capital like machines, it is a Harold Domas theory. So, the last theory is the non-economic theory. So, sa non-economic theory, the key factor is political stability democratic society, dedicated and efficient public administration, and positive cultural values. So, tandaan natin yung key factors sa non-economic theory, no? Is the political stability, democratic society, dedicated and efficient public administration, and positive cultural values. Before tayo mag-proceed, no? So, drills muna tayo, no? So, um, it is an innovator who organizes, operates, and assumes the risk of business vin venture. So, uh, ano ito? Ito ay ang entrepreneur. So, tandaan natin yung innovator. Yung clue word natin dyan is innovator. Yan ay ang entrepreneur. So, let's go to the, let's drill the development and growth theory. So, 
In this theory, the government should not interfere in economic activities. This is, okay, the laissez-faire theory. This theory naman believe that the key factor is an eco in economic growth is land. Kanino ang theory to? Okay, very good. This is from Ricardian theory. Yo, yung clue word natin dyan is land, land. Believe that the key factor economic growth is land. Yan ay ang Ricardian theory. So, paano naman yung theory na nag-generate ng skill employment? More production and thus it enhances economic development. Okay, very good. This is the Keynesian theory. Yung clue word natin yan is generate skill, skill employment. So, kanino namang theory ito yung entrepreneurs or innovators are, are the key factors for economic development? Okay, kay Joseph Scamter, no? At ito ay ang innovation theory. Very good. So, kanino namang Ano namang theory ito yung kay Nicholas Caldor? Ang sabi niya, technology is the key factor to development. Okay, ito ay ang Caldor theory. So, yung keyword natin dyan is technology. Technology is the key factor to development. So, in this theory, the key factor is political stability. Democratic society, dedicated and efficient public administration, and positive cultural values. What theory is this? Very good. This is the non-economic theory. So, yung, uh, key fac yung uh, cl clue word natin yan is the political stability. Or the democratic society, dedicated and efficient public administration, and positive cultural values. Yan ay ang economic theory. How about, yung theory ito, yung Turing ito is by Sir Harold and uh, Professor Domast. And the key factor in this theory is the economic growth is... The, the physical capital like machines what theory is this so very good no so this is Harold Domas theory our next topic is all about socio-economic benefits of entrepreneurship so before we start no let's define the entrepreneurship so according to Wikipedia entrepreneurship is the creation or extraction of economic value with this definition entrepreneurship is viewed as change generally entailing risk beyond what is normally encountered in starting a business which may include other values than simply economic ones so now we have here the five uh, socio-economic benefits of entrepreneurship first is the creation of employment second is improvement of standard of living contribution to economic growth and development social benefits to the people new technologies new industries and new products so the first um, socio-economic uh, benefits of entrepreneurship is the creation of employment. So in the creation of employment, no, so millions of jobs are provided. More jobs mean more income and it has good effect on the economy of the country. Just like here, no, if there's uh, many businesses in our society, more jobs to offer to the people. That that is the um, benefits of entrepreneurship the first benefits of entrepreneurship which is the creation of employment 
So the second social economic benefits of entrepreneurship is the improvement of standard of living. So people earn money so that they are able to provide for their needs and wants. No? So if there's an entrepreneurship in our community, there's a new business to be built. So this business owner will hire people and these people can earn their income or their salary and they can provide their needs and wants. So the third socioeconomic benefits of entrepreneurship is contribution to economic growth and development. So the more entrepreneurial activities of the people are given in the community, you know, so it means that you have more business in your community. So if you have more business in your community, the higher the income, you will get as an entrepreneur. So the fourth social economic benefits of entrepreneurship no, is social benefits to the people. So entrepreneurs pay taxes to the government and these are in return used to improve public facilities. No? So entrepreneurs or the business owners pay taxes and in return the government will will uh, build some infrastructures like roads for the benefit of the people. So the fifth and the last socioeconomic benefits of entrepreneurship is new technology, new industries, and new products. So entrepreneurs usually introduce something new or something different and this contribute a lot to the modernization of our economy. No? So as an entrepreneurs, we are innovator no we introduce something new for the moder modernization of our economy so that are the five socioeconomic benefits of entrepreneurship no so first is the creation of employment the second is the improvement of standard of living contribution to economic growth and development social benefits to the people and new technologies new industries and new products bil muna tayo no bago tayo mag proceed to the next topic so so this social economic uh, benefits of entrepreneurship is people earn money so that they are able to provide for their needs and wants. So what socioeconomic benefits of entrepreneurship is this? Okay, this is the improvement of standard of living. So how about the more entrepreneurial activities of the people are given in community? the higher the income they will get. So what socioeconomic benefits of entrepreneurship is this? Okay, very good, no? So this is a contribution to economic growth and development. So how about million of jobs are provided? More jobs mean more income and it has a good effect on the economy of the country. Okay, what? socioeconomic benefits of entrepreneurship is this okay this is the creation of employment so how about entrepreneurs usually introduce something new or something different and this contribute a lot to the modernization of our economy okay this is new technology new industries and new products so how about entrepreneurs pay taxes to the government and these are in return used to improve public facilities so what socioeconomic benefits of entrepreneurship is this okay very good no so this is social benefits to the people so now let's proceed to the strengths and weaknesses of entrepreneurs. So, ano nga ba yung mga strengths and uh, weaknesses of entrepreneurs? So, this, these are the strengths of uh, entrepreneurs, no? So, the first is the availab availability of funds. Second is the continuous supply of raw materials. Modern technology, skilled workers, technical service, 
and quality of goods and services. So, ito naman yung mga weaknesses of entrepreneurs. No? So, first is the lack of capital, poor management marketing strategies, poor quality of goods and services, high cost of raw materials, lack of technology, lack of skilled workers, loss of supply and demand, and the last is the low production during peak demands. So this ends our first discussion in entrepreneurship. No? So I hope that you learned something new and uh, I hope also that you instill all the information that you gain from this video. No? Our next topic to be discussed is all about the characteristics of an entrepreneur, the resources of production, factors of production, rules of production, and four phase, phases of production. So, before this video ends, no, so kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for you to be updated if may mga new videos akong i-upload. No? So, thank you everyone and God bless. So, goodbye for now.